Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. Today we're gonna explore Hoi An because it's sunny, it's beautiful, it's warm, it feels great. And Yanni is sick. <laughs> so it's just me in the vlog. I got food poisoning, guys. Yeah, last night we ate exactly the same things. Pizza was great. We had a cocktail. Um, Yanni's cocktail was full of ice and we know we shouldn't drink things with ice. And so he got sick. I guess lesson learned. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. Enjoy. I actually th threw up this morning. So after that, <laughs> I'm gonna eat banana and some fresh juice just to get some more vitamins in me because I feel like I'm very dehydrated right now. I'm still recovering. I'm still a bit weak. I'm, I'm feeling better. But who took care of you today? Who did? Who did? I thought I have the strongest stomach but not in Hoi An. Surprisingly. Coffee is done. Breakfast is done. It's very nice and sunny today and we're heading towards the old house of Tan Ki. Fabio's on vlogging duty. I'm still recovering. So we need to get a ticket to go in and I feel like that ticket is one purchase and you can go into every single touristy areas in the city. We'll find out how much, we don't know. The price is only 120 dong each. See. For a full ticket, for, so for five entrance. We're in. Tanky was actually a poor boy that was brought up by his uncle and soon he became quite rich and he helped other poor people in the town. Fun fact, there's still people living in the second floor and so just the first floor you can visit and then upstairs there's still rooms and people sleeping there. On to the next one! That show was so cute. Now we are going to the next one. Also, our tip is go to the show, performing arts late, because look, we didn't get our ticket, so nobody ticketed us. So we just went in for free, pretty much. Now we have extra place to see. So next up is the Museum of Folklore in Hanoi. It's just right next to it. So that was an interesting museum, it really shows you the real traditional way of living here. They show you how the house decor was, how they used to fish, how they used to uh, create clothes and fabric. And it was very interesting to see even the design of the house, it's so cool. So one thing we could have done today is go to Da Nang and see the bridge, but because of food poisoning. <laughs> Yeah. It really weakened me and Fabio. We wanted to go yesterday, but Yanni was sick, and then we wanted to go today, but I was sick. He was sick this morning. Oh, oh my god, it's, it's actually destiny. It's bad. And it weakens your body when you have food poisoning. It's like yeah. all day yesterday, no joke, I slept in bed. I just took a <laughs> day break and I just gave my body a break. We don't regret it because Hoi An, anyway, is so beautiful. Yeah, luckily we're in a beautiful town, so Yeah, we're as you happy. saw in the previous vlog. Now we're gonna show you the place where I got food poisoning. So you don't go there. <laughs> I found my sandals and I love them. Very comfortable, way better than shoes. And the best thing is that you don't need to wash socks anymore. Hey guys, today's video we're gonna show you Hoi An at night. So, walking at Hoi An last night, we noticed that it is such a romantic city. So I think, Fabio and I strongly believe that Hoi An is the most romantic city in Vietnam. By the way guys, I'm wearing my new shirt that I bought yesterday. Let's show. <laughs> nice outfit, nice outfit. By the way, so first up, we have the night market. This night market is open every single night of the week here in Hoi An.
In this portion of the market you see a lot of street food, a lot of handmade souvenirs and it's so colorful and nice, so alive. And now we're entering the old town, we have to pass a bridge, there's a lot more restaurants, sit-down restaurants and a few different things that we're gonna show you. Now this is the bridge that goes into the pedestrian area and there's this beautiful canal with all the boats and lanterns, colorful lanterns and it's super romantic. It reminds me of a Vietnamese Venice. This is the Venice of Vietnam. It's so beautiful. And look, people can make their wish and put it in the water and let it go there. Okay, so now we're entering the restaurant area by the river. It's so cute because you can have a view by the river where people are boating and it's a nice view with all the lights as well. And you can sit down at a restaurant and enjoy your meal with your loved one or by yourself. The streets get crowded. It's so nice to walk around the old town just by yourself or with your loved ones and enjoy some nice food, souvenirs and all that nice stuff. So nice. A lot of things are handmade. We see them during the day actually crafting. You know, great thing about this place too is happy hours are crazy long and you buy one, you get one for free almost everywhere. After walking around the market and having a good dinner, what you can do to digest and enjoy the rest of the night is to ride one of these boats and they actually take you for a 20 minutes, 15 or 20 minutes ride and you can leave your lantern into the water to make your wish. Isn't it romantic? <laughs> Excuse me, would you like to go on a boat please? Oh no, thank, no, you. thank you. No, 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 thanks. Do you know if you go and the, boat, the drink is including, would you like to try one time? Oh, no, 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 thank, no. You. thank you. And as you can see, there's a lot of people coming <laughs> to get you. So you don't even have to look for it. They will just come to you. Because we got food poisoning in the last couple of days, we decided not to eat out tonight simply because tomorrow we're traveling. We have a long day of travel. Yes. We cannot risk it, even though we know ours was just like once in a while thing but we cannot risk that. So we're gonna go home. We have our ramen in the box, the one that you pour hot water in it, so we know there's no poison whatsoever, and we're good to go. Bye.